Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this one, I will be showing you how to add an idle timer that will kick the player after a certain amount of time. You can use it for whatever reason you want. So, uh, uh, open up the Epic Games Launcher, or just launch Unreal Engine from directly your shortcut. So, I just do it from the Epic Games Launcher under Unreal Engine, top right corner, launch. And then once you're in Unreal Engine, open up your project. I'm just in this tutorial project just to show you guys how to do it. So, I, so the first thing you want to do is go to Content third person BP, blueprints, and open up your third person character. Uh, over here in our third person character, we're going to want to create two variables. Okay, I just created two. One of them is going to be our idle timer, so I can just call that idle, ti idle timer. And then I'm going to change this to a float. And then the second one is going to be called is AFK? We can leave that as a boolean. Compile your blueprint. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is create an event tick. Event tick. This will tick every frame, to which is going to be our timer. So, like when a person isn't moving, it's going to start ticking and telling us that he isn't moving. So, on event tick, we're going to do uh, D click, and that's going to bring us a delay. I just set my delay to 0 0.1, but you can set it however much you want. And on completed, create a branch. That is a branch. And under the condition, make that is AFK. Alright. So under true, we're going to want to do quit game. This is going to force the game to stop if they've been AFK for too long. And under false, we're going to want to set our idle timer. Then drag off here and do plus, float plus float. And then on the top where it's a zero, just drag in your idle timer. Then after that, we're going to want to bring out another branch. Drag it into here. And then let's create a greater than or equal to float. And this is your value, what your value is going to be. So I'm going to just set mine to 100 for the sake of the project. But you can set it yours to whatever you want it to be. Drag the and hit the return value into the condition for the branch. And then under true, set is AFK to true. I'm going to check that. Okay, so now we have this worked out. The next thing we're going to need to do is go to edit, project settings, input, and under action mapping, we need to create a new action mapping. And let's just call this any key. Okay, so this is going to be if the player hasn't touched these keys in this, that certain amount of time, then it's going to start triggering that. Then it's going to reset the timer. So for me, I'm going to just do W key. Uh, no, W key. More D. These are base movement input S, S and A. Okay, and mouse, left mouse button, and right mouse button. Okay, so that just seems good enough for the sake of the project. So then under here we can right click, and now we can call that input. Input any key. Then we can set our idle timer to zero. And we can set is AFK to false. All right, so that's it. We now we can compile and save our project. And let's see how it works. So I hit play. And now we just wait for a little bit. And we will get kicked. See? After about 10 seconds, we automatically got kicked from the game. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, I have more tutorials. They're going to be right here on the left side. And my channel is going to be right here on the right side. If you like this video, please subscribe. I work really hard making these tutorials. Thank you.